Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Transport Fever 2. Dev 2018, what is your top speed that you have? 50k. So, so long as the road is not limited to less than 50k, we can take full advantage of what the vehicle has to offer. I need to make more lines. I need to make one line here that goes from that one over to that one. The Rochester sidings to the Rochester Exchange. And then I need a line that goes from Lower St. Paul back over here to Rochester Exchange. And that one will run in through there. Right, that's perfect. That's all we need to do there. So then I want to... No, I've got four. I can do... Your oh. bus company is on top in a class of its own. Not just in the Midwest. We're talking transcontinental. There was a time... When you came from the tunnels of a mine. Today, you own one of the most profitable companies in the whole country. Which proves the American dream really can come true. So I can continue playing and complete the Housewife Betty bit. I don't really need to because it's only just deliver a little bit of grain from those two and then that's it and it's done. I didn't realise that we were ticking through so well with the beating the trams because I already had bus stations in place in Minneapolis. So we, we did really well on that. And our last year, uh, our last year, our last financial year, we earned four million dollars, which that's not to be sniffed at. Right, we'll return to the main menu and we will start the next bit. A small country in the heart of Europe, surrounded by nations increasingly at odds with each other. The 1930s have dawned, and the whole world groans under the weight of a severe financial crisis. Switzerland, too. The word is, be thrifty and use available resources wisely. And don't ever antagonize anyone. That will be bad for business, which is bad enough anyway. Okay. No pressure or anything, then. The global economy is down for the count. The political climate has dark clouds on the horizon. In Switzerland too, events are being viewed with a worried eye. Of all people, you have been promoted in this precarious situation. Only recently it's now you who guides the fate of the Swiss Federal Railways. Make your contribution so that the country survives these difficult times unharmed. There were times when the future looked rosier. That goes for the Swiss Federal Railways as well. The business losses are too heavy, even for a state-run railroad. You have the equally difficult and thankless task to reduce as many expenses as possible while still maintaining basic service. That's the story. Good luck with it. It's painful, but there's no other way. You're forced to reduce maintenance and abandon services that don't make a profit. Optimize the lines or close them down in order to save on costs and reduce the loss to a maximum of 20,000 per month. Reduce my loss to 20,000 per month. Well, at the moment, it says my earnings are 99,263,838. Although I think that may be slightly biased. So that's what I got to do on here. We've got a train depot over here. I got the food processing plant. Excuse me. What's with all of these signals everywhere? All right. This is. Have I got. I haven't got switchbacks on them. I've got some signals. So it basically is just so that I can allow trains to run through in different places, I suppose. I don't really know. Train one right there. Let's have a look at what vehicles we're running. Total vehicles, I've got four trains on four different lines. We've got Bellinzona over there. We've got Como. What else have we got? Look at all these signals everywhere. There's loads of them. Have I got a link between this side and the other side? Yes, we do. We've got a tunnel that goes right through the mountain. Goes all the way through there. And runs out over to this side. We've got Lucerne, Zurich, uh, Schaffhausen, Romanshorn, St. Gallen. What's that? Friedrich, uh, Friedrich Schaffen and Bregenz. Is it, is it Bregenz? 
I don't know. I'm probably pronouncing most of these wrong, but uh, I've, I've given it a valiant effort, I feel. We've got a lot of different places. We've, we've got a lot of different sort of things. It's all of these signals everywhere. These are, these are vaguely confusing for me. I'm not quite sure why we have so many signals in so many places. And I've got to decide who's earning what. I don't know if I'm really the person for the job on this. Railroad, last... Uh, reducing losses. Lost last month 368,000. Railroad there. Where are we getting our 368,000 from? I've got a lot of negative numbers here. Water, other, maintenance of infrastructure. So I'm losing money pretty quickly here. Maintenance on vehicles is 470,000. Maintenance on tracks is 74,000. And infrastructure is 190. Um, optimize or close down the lines in order to save costs and reduce the losses to a maximum of 20k. So optimize or cut them all down. I guess really we need to kind of need see them running for a bit. Would that help? I don't really know. We're, like, we've got this beautiful thing all set out here, and I, I'm, I'm not quite sure where I should be going. Uh, there's nothing in there. We've got some tracks that like cross over with each other. I know what I need to do. I just go to here. So train one. Click on that one right there, and then uh, go to it. That one is over there. So there is train one on its way out. We've got 12 people on board. Let's get some details on this train. This train is only six months old. It's valued at that. Running costs 467 per year. That one seems pretty good. I can't really fault that train. What line is he on? Let's have a look. Uh, line four. Line four goes over that way. Through Bellinzona. Oh, wow. That's a really long run. Over to the Bergen's passenger station and then stops. Right, maybe we need to change the stations on... Like, if I go manage line over here, I'm literally, it's just those... Wow, that is not efficient at all. Uh, then we've got line three. Here. Right, I don't want to manage the line, so I want to just get line three. Let's go to the vehicles. Train uh, train four is here. Right, let's go to you. Line three. Yeah, right now, where's line three? Train four. Let me run over to you. You are over this side. You're running somewhere similar then. No. Ah, right. Line three is going from the food processing plant over to here and over to here. You're a cargo station. Car you're a cargo train running between... The well, actually, that one, I think, is probably all right. Right, that's running to... Are you actually moving the right foot? That's the, the big question, is is it moving the correct food? Uh, that one needs wheat coming in, and so does... Oh, there's the Como farm. So I need to get wheat coming from here. I need to bring that in. And then you... You're needing wheat as well. Train four. Line three. Line three is literally these three here. That's no good. So I need to extend those out a bit, don't I? I need to be able to bring wheat and wheat from there into this one. And then we can go into that station and we can go to Bellinzona as well. We just need to extend it out a little bit so that we're processing food. Then we'll be able to actually move something on line three. We're not moving anything on line three at the moment. Next, we want to go to line two on here. Go there, line two. Let's get rid of that one. Where is line two? There's line two over there. We go from the Roman's Horn Farm over to the Roman's Horn Food Processing Plant. Now, wait a minute. 
That seems like it might be the right move, except I would like to bet that the actual train itself, managed vehicle... How do you manage the vehicle? Replace, edit selected vehicle. I don't have the right... <laughs> I don't have the right type of car for moving those. That's the problem with train 3 on line 2. Line 2 itself is fine. I don't need to alter line 2. Uh, actually, I could. I could alter line 2. Alright, click on line 2. I could alter it to add... Has it got a stop on there? Manage line. No, it doesn't. So what I'd want to do here is I want to go Roman's Horn Farm Cargo Station over to... Not to Roman's Horn. I want to go to... From that one, over to that one, and then back to that one. And then just keep doing that between those. So that it will bring grain over to here and then bread back to Roman Torn. It doesn't need to go any further than that. It doesn't need to do any more than that. I could have it going to St. Gallen as well, but I'm not going to at the moment. It could sort of go between these two. It could go from there over to that one. And then over to St. Gallen and then back to Roman Torn and then back to there. So we just run between those two. And this is, this is something different. So line one is the only one that I haven't looked at yet. That is Zurich Passenger Station over to Friedrichstaffen um, Passenger Station. Bypassing that passenger station completely and that one as well. Just running right through them without actually stopping. This is terrible. we got a lot of work to do here, ladies and gentlemen. Right, so we'll start off with line three over here. This one running through here. We won't worry about the blue line for a minute. We will just do this one. It goes Como Food Processing Plant Cargo Station, Como Cargo Station, and Bellinzona Cargo Station. So we got it coming over to here. It's going to that one there, and it's going over there. So it's got like a, a reasonable route, although I think to really boost things out, what do we got? That one requires corn. That one requires corn. Uh, it's got bread over there. That one takes corn into bread. We've got stuff coming in, but we, we don't have anything going out. We need to change it over. So it's going to Bellinzona Farm, and then it's coming back through this way, uh, coming over to the food processing plant. So it's running between the two. And then from the food processing plant, it needs to go... Well, actually, what? Do we want over here? That one delivers. That one delivers grain as well. As well as that one. So we don't need to go to Bellinzona Farm. We can go over to this one if we want to. I've got a choice. I can either go over to that farm or I can go over to this farm. We can use one or the other. We don't need to use both if we don't want to. And that might make life a little bit easier for us if we just use the one. So if I go from here... I think it would be better to go that way round rather than running through this line here. That way we're not going to have trains getting stuck next to each other. That's the biggest issue is having trains that need to get stuck because uh, on this, um, the signals. I'm a little bit concerned about that. So I need grain to come over to here. We need to get grain from there, bring it back over to here. I don't really know, need to go into Como at all, although supplying grain in there would be good, but I don't really need to do that. So we, we'll, we'll change this one over for now. We will get rid of the Como cargo station completely. That one can go. Um, the other thing I want to do is I just want to have a look at the vehicles. Line 3 at the moment. Let's have a look at you. Train 4 right there. Um, edit the... Edit all the edit this vehicle right here. So this one has got those carriages right there. Cargo. It's the box car that can only take food. I need the gondola to be able to carry the grain. So we've got that one car for carrying food, but I don't have anything for carrying grain. So I've either got to get something different to carry the grain in, or we're going to need to just add in some extras. I think for now we will add in extras. So I will put in three gondolas on there as well. Add those three on there. That's now gone to mediocre. 
It was good before. You know, it, actually, it's it's fine because it's quite a short run. So we'll do three of those and three of them in there. So we will modify that train now. That one's now modified. Uh, train four, that one's the one on... Lin oh, Linny three, not line three. It's on Linny three. That one's on there. Right, and we will manage that line there. So at the moment, we go Bellinzona Cargo Station, which is the food oh, the food processing plant and Bellinzona Cargo Station. And I also need the Bellinzona Farm. I need to be able to collect the grain from there. So we will add station, and I will add that one in down there. Goes the farm cargo station. Then all the way back to the food processing plant, and from the food processing plant, it then goes to here to deliver the bread. Uh, Locarno also needs bread to be delivered, but we will add that one in at a later date, I think. We'll we'll put more... Oh, no, it's, it's double tracks. It's double tracks. Right. As it's double tracks, maybe we could put two of them in right now. I don't know if that would work. It's got passing places on the tracks, is what they've done. I wonder if I could add another train on there so that I've got more grain coming from here, going up that way, and then... No. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to leave it like this. We will just... We will serve those two at the moment. So there's that station. There's that, that line and station is done. Let's, let's not worry about it anymore. So there's line three. Next, we will do line four, which is this one. That is Como Passenger Station. And then that goes on to Bergen's Passenger Station, which is the one all the way over there. I think for this one... We will just add some more passenger trains onto it. First up, let's take a look at the actual um, the vehicles that we've got on here. We, we do at least have passenger cars on here, right? We have at least got passenger cars on here. So let's edit this one. We've got these passenger cars here. I've got the six wheelers. The Donabush right there. That six-wheeler takes 14 people. The Donabush here is not that much more expensive, and that takes 17 cars. So I think I will get rid of these, like that, and then I'll add the Donabush instead. And I will put four of those in, so that I've got a larger capacity. I've got a capacity of 68 there, capacity of 85, although that drops it down to a mediocre, so I'll... Oh, it was already on mediocre. Good is on two on there. So I'll add three in. We'll, we'll do that. We'll have a capacity of 85. It's an 80-meter train. It should be all right, I'm hoping. Uh, total length of the train is 80 meters. Modify for $4 million. And I want to go and have a look now at the actual stations. Those are big stations there. So we then go to... Line 4 here with the actual line manager. Now, Bergen's passenger station is that one. I'm going to get rid of that one to start with, like that. And Como passenger station is the first one over here. From there, we're going to go to Bellinzona. We're going to add that one in. And then from Bellinzona, we're going to head on over. We don't want to go to that one. We've got... What other lines have I got? That's passengers there. Those are passengers that are running all the way from Friedrichshafen over there. So that one, I'm going to run around this way. I was going to run around this way, and it's also going to take in that one and join those together. So line four at the moment is going to go over this side. So we've got Como on there. Then on to Bellinzona. Then we will come through here. I won't go out around that way. I will come this way. And we will pick up St. Gallen Passenger Station next. Then I will go up to Romanshorn Passenger Station. Then back over to Bergen's Passenger Station. And then finally we will go into Friedrichshafen. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back through those same stations. I'm going to skip Romanshorn on the return journey. Uh, I'm just going to go to... St. Gallen there, and Bellinzona, and Como.
Station appears consecutively twice. Right, so I've got to get rid of that one. I don't need to include that on the list. And there's my new list that I'm going to come through and do. I'm hoping that will work. We'll have to see how the others pan out with it. Next up, I want line one, which is the other passenger one. And I'm going to go here into line one first. And we're going to edit this vehicle. I've got in this one, I've got the Donabush and I've got five vehicles. Oh, that's the line four one. I want the line one. Yeah. That's the one that I want. I want you, and I want to edit you. Uh, so I'm going to do the same. Wait, what train have I got in here? The A35 on that one. That's the A35. That's the other one. And that's the other one in there. Line 1 in here, we, I think we'll change this one. If I edit that, uh, this train here is... Steam does 100k, this one does 90k at steam, 76 tons, 85 kilonewtons tractive effort, that one's 150, okay, that's actually a better train, that one there is the better train, alright, well, we'll keep that one then, and then passenger cars, I've got the six wheelers on here, not the Donabush, I think, or are they? Oh, no. I've got the right ones on there. Okay, I've got that one in there. I will add some extra. Yeah, it's good at the moment with those three. If I add in two more, that puts it down to mediocre. But I think that's all right. That's a capacity of 85 as well. So I'm going to modify that one. We'll add in a couple of extras there. Then we will go down this way. So this one goes Zurich Passenger Station. All the way round over there. And I don't want to go that far. That's too far. So we will get rid of... Um, Zurich for a minute. Add station. I'll add Lucerne Cargo Station in. No. Lucerne Passenger Station. Then I will get rid of that one. So Lucerne Passenger Station is the first one. Then we will go up here to Zurich Passenger Station. And from there, we're going to go up to that one, which is Schaffhausen. And from that one, I'm going to go back to this one over here, St. Gallen. And then I'm going to come back over to... Zurich passenger station over here and then it will finish up at Lucerne passenger station down there so that's going to be taking in this little loop down here so we've got everything kind of just going through them once I think that'll work nicely now what are you complaining about no path uh, we'll figure that out in a minute and then finally we got line 2 Roman's Horn Farm Cargo Station from there to the Roman's Horn Plant Cargo Station over here. That one is actually all right going from there to there. And we do want to take in Roman's Horn as well. But I think the biggest problem with this one is that we have the wrong sort of drain. So we need to go to here and we need to um, edit this selected vehicle. That's not really the best sort of wagon for moving grain and the other. We need boxcars and gondolas for this. So I need to get rid of those two, like that. And then I want to add one, two, three of them, and one, two, three of them, like that. So I will modify that so I've got the six. Then I will come over this way, and I will change these stations around. So I want to go Roman's Horn farm cargo station over to the plant cargo station and then all i want to do is add in the cargo station there and then i've got a straight run backwards and forwards where i'm delivering and, and dropping stuff off and i think that one will be all right like that right now i do have a slight problem let's play now set things going uh you right here train two you're line one, so what I need to do is I need to about face you. And you should now head off in the direction that you're supposed to be going. So let's pin to you a second. We'll watch you travel through the Swiss Alps. 
a little bit. We don't have to watch you lots, but we'll, we'll watch you travel through the Swiss Alps a little bit up here. I don't want to click on that. Let's move that one over there a bit, shall we? Uh, can I make that smaller? I can't make the window smaller. Uh, but yeah, we will we'll, we'll trail this one through the Alps until he gets back to wherever he wants to go. It's whether or not we're going to have issues with trains crossing tracks and things like that. That's the bit that I'm most concerned about. Being able to properly get through everywhere. This is building up some speed. Slowly getting there. I've got lots of things over there. We've also got a whole load of infrastructure that we need to be able to deal with as well. Although, we'll start off with just seeing if we can get these trains to earn a bit of money. Right, you're swapping over now. You're coming onto this side so that you've got the passenger station bit coming in here got any passengers we have no passengers at the moment you're gonna pull up there and zero of 85 we've got nobody on board let's speed it right up by that shall we got nobody on board there at the moment and then you'll go out round this way now You'll ignore the turning up that way. This one's going to go... I think we're going straight to Zurich next. Oh, yeah. Zurich Passenger Station. That's where we're heading next. It's going some speed here. Into Zurich Passenger Station. We've got a lovely big station in here. Grind to a halt right there. We've got nobody on board. Although, we do expect it to run the line a bit first before it actually starts to pick up passengers and starts running them around and then I've got that train coming in Where's, why is that train going in there train 1 line 4 why that one's coming in here shouldn't be going up round that way that one should be coming in this way I don't get why he's going that way. He's coming down there. What? Oh. I'm wondering if... I'm on to Como Passenger Station next. I'm wondering if I need to put a cross onto this one. Well, we'll have to just have a look at that. Going to Como Passenger Station. I may have an issue there. Climb up across the mountains here. So that one seems to be doing all right. And I can see passengers over there lining up ready to go and use that train already. This one's coming in here and it's going to Como Passenger Station next. Come whizzing out through there. But why did it go round that big loop? Don't think that was where it was headed previously. And it may have been where it was headed previously, and that's what caused it. But I wouldn't have thought so. So it's coming into here. Why is Bellinzona not the next one that it's going to? It should be on that side, onto Bellinzona. Oh. Right, he's crossed, he's crossed there, and he's on the right side. And he's loaded up 35 people. Now he's going to Bellinzona Passenger Station. Well, unfortunately, folks, that is all we've got time for today. Sometimes even our fantastic pilots, train drivers and lorry drivers and bus drivers and boat drivers and all the other drivers need a little bit of rest. So while they rest up and have a cup of tea... If you've enjoyed the episode, could you please head down below and give us a like? And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.